What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to root Android L. It's pretty much the same as with previous versions of Android. Basically you just flash a supersu.zip file, only this one has been modified to work with L. But to do that you'll need to have a custom recovery install. So I'll be using Wugfresh's Nexus Root Toolkit to get that part taken care of, and you can download that at wugfresh.com slash nrt. Once you've got it installed, just allow it to download all additional files that it asks for when you first launch it. Then back on your phone, head to Settings, About Phone, and tap Build Number seven times. This will unlock a new entry in Settings called Developer Options. Head in there and tick the box next to USB Debugging, and then press OK. Then connect your phone to your PC with a good quality USB cable, and you should see this screen. Tick the box next to Always Allow from this computer, and press OK. Back over here on the PC, the first part you'll have to hit up in the root toolkit is Full Driver Installation Guide. Skip directly to step 3 here and see what it says for your recommended driver solution. Mine says number 1, so I'll click the corresponding button down here. Then just follow the prompts to get the ADB drivers installed so your computer can communicate properly with your phone. Next, you'll have to unlock your bootloader so that it will accept a custom recovery image. But doing that will wipe all of your data, so make sure you have everything backed up. But if you're ready, just click Unlock on NRT and follow the prompts to get your bootloader unlocked. When that's finished, you can go about the process of installing a custom recovery. At the bottom left corner of the root toolkit is the Advanced Utilities. Hit Launch here. In this middle column, make sure to select Flash Permanent. Then underneath it, click Recovery. It lets you know what's about to happen, so read it and press OK. On this next screen, pick which custom recovery you'd like to use. I'd recommend TWRP since it has the best interface and the most support. Then just let the toolkit do its thing, and after a few minutes, you should get a confirmation dialog, and your phone should automatically reboot. That's all there is to do on the PC, so let's head out to the real world and take care of the actual rooting part. Okay, so now that you have a custom recovery installed, you can start flashing zips and whatnot, to modify Android L. The zip in question today is a modified version of Chainfire's Super SU. Chainfire is on vacation at the moment, so he hasn't had a chance to update his root zip for Android L compatibility, but he posted instructions on his Twitter account and Reddit user Bogdakutu has done the work for him. You can download the zip by heading to the full tutorial that's linked out in the description below. But once you've got it downloaded, just reboot into recovery. Here's how you do that. Start by powering your Nexus 5 completely off. When the screen goes black, hold the volume down button with one finger. Then press the power button with another. This will take you into Android's bootloader where you can tap the volume down button twice to highlight recovery mode and press the power button to select it. In a few seconds, your freshly installed recovery should come right up. From here, tap install, then navigate to your download folder. Tap the Update Super SU zip file, then swipe the slider at the bottom to install the root binaries. When it's finished, just hit Reboot System, and when you get back up, you'll be rooted. Because Android L has added the SE Linux Security Kernel module, some root apps will not work. This doesn't mean root is broken, it just means that these apps have to be updated to provide compatibility for Android L. But little bugs like these are to be expected when you're on the bleeding edge like we are now. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy gadget hacking.